Okay, today I'm gonna show you how to make your own free website and it looks very professional. I'm not talking about MySpace, I'm not talking about Facebook, nothing like that. This is your own website with your own pages, your own links, and your own rules. None of those crazy farming games or whatever it is you do on those other sites. There are a lot of reasons why you might want to have a free website. You can promote a product, you can make a teacher page, which is what I use it for. It's a great way to communicate with students and parents. And it's also a great way for parents and students to interact with you. You can have announcements up there. There are a couple caveats. Number one, you won't have your own domain name. And number two, your options for customizing the site are limited. But if you're looking for something that's free and that will make you look very intelligent and smart if you have it, then you've come to the right place. Stick around for a few minutes and I'll show you how it's done. It's really super easy. Within about five minutes you'll know how to create a website that'll blow your friends away. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is navigate to WordPress.com. Some of you are going to say, ah, wait a minute, I know what WordPress is. It's a blogging software. And I would say, yeah, you're right. It is a blogging software, but it's also much more powerful than that. It's evolved into a very flexible solution, uh, and it can be used for a standard website as well. So the first thing you're going to need to do is navigate to WordPress.com, and then click Sign Up Now. It will take you to this page, and you're going to have to pick a username. So I'm going to pick uh, Tutorial YouTube and see if that's available. And it is. It tells me that it's available, and it asks me if I want to have it for a domain name for 17 bucks a year. I'm gonna say no, because I'm doing this the free way. Okay, then click on username, and it will um, populate that field with the same name that you chose originally. Uh, you can change it if you want. Um, then you pick a password, and then you put in an email address. This has to be a real email address, by the way. So once you finish that field, you click sign up. The next thing that will happen is you'll come to this page here, um, and it's gonna tell you that you need to check your email to activate your your account. So I'll go to my email and you just want to click this link, the first link you see, actually it's the second link in there, and you want to click that to activate the blog. And this page will now come up telling you that your account is now active. You now have a couple different options for logging into your account. You can click log in at the top of the page up here, or you can click on this link here which will be your username.wordpress.com and log in there. Let's do it that way. Okay, once you're here, there will be a little login link in the lower right. So let's click that. That'll take you here. Then you type in your username, tutorial YouTube for us, and then you click login. Okay, now that I'm here, the first thing I'm gonna do is click hide this annoying screen. And then I'm gonna decide which theme I want for my website. So scroll down a little bit until you see appearance. Now, if you click on the little arrow on the right of each heading, it will either shut a, a drop-down menu or open a drop-down menu. So click on the little arrow and then click on themes. Now the theme they're using right now is 2010. 2010 is actually a pretty cool theme because you can choose a custom header, which is nice. But that's not my favorite theme. I'm gonna choose I'm gonna sort by popular here and I'm going to choose grazed. I really like this theme. Now you can preview what the theme is going to look like here, or you can just activate it. Okay, I'm going to click activate. And then I'm going to click on my um, link here to see what it's going to look like. And there we have it. Wow, I think that looks pretty cool. Now that we've changed our theme, what we need to do next is make our home page a static page. Usually on a blog, when somebody posts a new post, their home page changes. That's what makes it a blog. A regular website, which is what we're trying to achieve here, typically has a static home page. So hover over my blog at the top and then click on dashboard. Once you're at your dashboard, scroll down to settings on the left here, and then click on reading. Right here it will say front page displays your latest posts or a static page. We're gonna click a static page. And then we have to select a page to use. Uh, by default, WordPress creates an about page. So for now, we'll select that one. Later, we can select a posts page, and that page will act like a typical blog. Every time you post something on that page, um, it will change, just like a blog. So you can use that page for announcements or whatever you want to use it for. But we'll talk about that a little bit later. Once you've selected a static page, scroll down and click Save Changes. Now, on our main page, and you can always click this to look at your main page, you will see that if you click home, it takes you to the about page. Okay, 
And if you click on this logo up here, it will also take you to the About page because this page is now our static homepage. What I'm gonna do next is change this lame title to something that's a little bit more personalized to me and this um, tagline to something that's a little bit more personalized to me as well. So I'm gonna go back to my dashboard and I'm gonna scroll down to settings down here on the left and I'm gonna click on general. Here you see the site title. Change it to what you want it to be. I'll call this site a cool tutorial. And then you can change your tagline to whatever you want that to be. And I'll say a very useful tutorial for the masses. Okay, so there we go. Now we've changed our title and we've changed our tagline. Then go down and click Save Changes. And as usual, I'm going to click on the link up here to see my changes. Ah, things are looking much better. Now we have a site title, a cool tutorial, a very useful tutorial for the masses. Now I'm going to add a new page to my website. Uh, I'm going to add a real about me page. So go back to your dashboard and then on the left you'll see a, a link that says pages here. Click on that. Then we're going to click on add new right here. And then we're going to create a page and we're going to call it about or about us. How about that? And then we type in, okay, something like that. And then we click publish. When the page is published, we can look at the main page again and see what changes have been made. You'll now notice that there's a home page and there's an about us page, which is cool. Click on about us and you'll see the changes that you just made. Now, it's very important to put some time and effort into your about us page. Every website pretty much has an about us page, at least every company. Uh, so take some time and effort into making the About Us page really good. Let's go back into the dashboard now and go back to our Pages link and change the original About page that WordPress supplied us with to something that's more fitting for a home page. So let's call it Welcome. And then in here we'll get rid of the default WordPress stuff and we will create our home page. Um, hi. Okay. And you'll have more paragraphs and you'll have links and you'll have other things in here. But for now, this is what I'm going to use as an example. And then you click update over here on the right. And it will now publish your new home page. Okay, let's see our changes. Okay, this is now our home page and we have an about us page. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a news page, which will give all my latest announcements and things like that. So what I'm going to do is go back to my dashboard. Okay. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to scroll down to my pages link again. And I'm going to create a new page. And I'm going to call it news. Okay. Now this is going to be the page that I want to change. Every time I post an announcement here I want it to scroll down like a blog. And then I'm going to click publish over here on the right. Okay. Once the page publishes I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to go to settings over here on the on the left. I'm going to click on reading. And then where it says posts page, I'm going to select the news page. Now, my news page will function as a regular blog typically functions. Every time I post a new announcement, that'll be my latest post and that page will continually change as I post new announcements. Don't forget to click Save Changes here on the bottom. Now, let's check and see how our site is coming along. Okay, now we have a home page, we have an About Us page, and we have a News page. Now, remember, every time you do a new post, this page will change. I want to point out one more thing on your dashboard. Notice the Posts link on the left-hand side. This is what you're going to want to click on when you want to add a new post. And this will populate to your news page. So here we'll do our second announcement. Hi, here's the next set of news. Okay, then I'm going to click publish. Once it publishes, I'm going to go check out my changes. Okay, let's check out the news page. Okay, now you see that here's my second announcement and down below is my first announcement. I'm just going to show you a couple more things. I'm going to show you how to customize your sidebar and I'm going to show you how to put links into pages and posts. First off, I, I do want my latest posts to show up on my sidebar, but I would also like uh, links to other pages to show up in my sidebar. Now keep in mind that some themes don't have the pages listed up here to your site. 
So you may want to have the pages to your site listed in your sidebar as well. Uh, but let's, let's go ahead and customize the sidebar. Go back to your dashboard, scroll down to Appearance, and then you're going to click on Widgets. Okay, this is my sidebar. I'm going to drag links to my sidebar. So I'm going to drag it over. Now all my links are going to show up in the sidebar, which is what I want. And I also want my recent posts to show up in my sidebar. Okay, so I'm going to drag that up. Now, I'm fine with all the defaults in here, but you can go in there and explore them and change them if you would like. Uh, I don't want my recent posts title to be called recent posts. I want it to be called news because it's going to reflect what's on my news page. So I'm going to save that and I'm going to save this. Okay, now let's see what it looks like. WordPress has all these uh, links in there by default, so we can change those later. But for now, that's what we have. So that's exactly how I want it to look. See, here's the two announcements that I had uh, that I put on my news page, and that's just what I want. Okay, so now I'm going to change this from blog roll to a better name. So go to your dashboard again and scroll down to links. Then click on link categories. Then you look over here there's only one category right now and it's called blog roll. I'm going to edit that and I'm going to change this to cool links. And I can put a description in there if I want, but I'm not going to. Then I'm going to click update. Okay, now keep in mind, if you want to separate your links on your sidebar into different categories, you can simply add a new category by typing in a name here and then clicking add new link category. It's that simple. And then when you create a new link by clicking add new over here, you just decide what category you want to put it into. So now we have this. Okay, but I don't want these links over here. I would prefer to have links to like, let's link to nba.com instead of discuss. Scroll down to links, click on links. Okay, this first one is called discuss. I'm going to edit it. I'm gonna call it NBA. And then I'm gonna change this to HTTP colon backslash backslash nba.com and then I'm going to call it a cool site and then I'm going to choose the category of cool links because that's the only category I have created so far then I'm going to click update link now let's go back to our home page and check it out cool now we have a link to NBA down here it sorts them by uh, alphabetical order if you want to sort them a different way, go back to the widgets page and look at the other ways you have of sorting them. Okay, the last thing I'm going to show you in this tutorial is how to create links in pages and posts. Click on dashboard again. Let's create a new post. Click on posts, then click on add new. I'm going to call this new post. I'm going to hover over the words cool site because that's what I want my link to be. And I'm going to click on this chain link icon here. Then I'm going to type in nba.com. Then, I call, then I'm going to call it a cool b-ball site. Then I'm going to click add link. And then I'm going to click publish. Now you see categories down here. And all we have so far is uncategorized because that's there by default. Under the posts submenu, you can create categories for your posts. So that's something you may want to consider doing as you get more posts. Anyway, I'm not going to worry about um, putting this post in a category. I'm just going to publish it. Now we'll head back to the home page and we'll see under our sidebar under news that we have a new post. Also if we click on news it will take us to our little mini blog. Okay and here's my new post and here's the link that I put in there. And when you click on it it will take you to nba.com and when you hover over it you will see the title that you put in. That's all I'm going to show you for this tutorial. Okay I want to give you one quick example of a website I created using this method. And this is it. It's called buildyourown.wordpress.com. Take a few minutes to check it out. I created this site to talk about the company that I bought my computer from. I tell about the system that I purchased from them. This is actually my old system that I purchased. I now have a new one that's even better. I have pictures of my system posted in here. See how cool this is? And you can do this on your site too. Okay. I have um, my top five things that I look for when buying a computer. I have my contact information. Actually, it's just a form that you can fill out and send to me. And then I have my blog, which is my posts page or my news page on the site that I showed you. Now, I, um, I don't update this blog very often, so it's not like you're going to find a whole lot of new stuff on here. But take a few minutes to check out this page to see 
an example of what you can do. This is just a basic example of something that you can do with this method. If you have any questions, post them in the comments area. 